Really? In Cleveland yeah. on 93rd and Cedar Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio on the east side. And I graduated in 1950, a little behind schedule. Uh, somehow or other, I struggled through the first or the fourth grade and lost two years. But I, I still managed to make it through. And uh, October 1950, my mother passed away and uh, home didn't seem the same. So uh, I decided it was time to venture out. And uh, I grew up there. My adolescent years, we had World War II going on from 1942 to 1946. I was uh, 12 to 16 years old then. And my sister, who was three years my senior, one of my two sisters, who was three years my, the older one was three years my senior, and um, uh, she was about 15, 16 years old during World War II, and a couple of her boyfriends were Navy guys. Uh, one in particular, Eddie Robinson, was in the uh, uh, sub uh, service. And uh, I fell in love really with the pea coat that he wore and also he gave my sister one and that's what I fell in love with. So in 1950 when I graduated and after my mom died and all, I uh, uh, decided to join the Navy. And I joined the Navy in November of 1950. And was in there for, it was a four-year recruitment, but it was for, we got out a little early because the Korean War conflict had died down. So I got uh, out in three years, nine months, and 11 days, you know, it, but who's counting? And um, from there I went to Ohio State University and um, I was married uh, halfway through the Navy, I got married. I should say, and uh, I had, uh, my oldest daughter was born while I was in the Navy. And uh, my son, I guess he was born after I got out of the Navy, right after I got out of the Navy. But, um, so that brought me up to uh, 1954 uh, or 55. And I, uh, uh, as I said, I went to Ohio State University and I, my major was uh, English and Special Education, at, uh, education. And, uh, uh, but I became an artist uh -huh. afterwards and I traveled throughout the United States as an artist from about, oh, I'd say about 63 uh, through um, about 2000, I was a freelance artist. So that gives you a little bit of my background. What, what kind of artist? Uh, portrait artist. I'm a portrait artist, yeah. a people painter. And, uh, so. Tell me about one of your most uh, memorable experiences in the service. Well, I uh, spent two years in Norfolk, Virginia, which wasn't too memorable. It was memorable, but not for all the positive reasons. And uh, two years on an aircraft carrier, the USS Bennington, and uh, then a little destroyer the USS Leary and uh, so I, I would have to say the aircraft crew is my most memorable experience. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, obviously you're a veteran. What have you done to get veterans benefits? Well, as soon as I got out of the service and uh, went back to Ohio, I decided to go to Ohio State and uh, the university at that time um, had a department for veterans where we could go and, and uh, get all the information we needed to, to get uh, uh, money for our, our tuition and 
living expenses and all like that. And I was married at the time. So uh, they had a village for, uh, for veterans and a section for married veterans, which had been a World War II uh, set up for uh, uh, service personnel that they had assigned to Ohio State University. So um, uh, I was able to, um, I think I, we got about $160 a month to live on and uh, I think that covered our, uh, the cost of our rent and as well as the tuition and all. So it was through Ohio State University and their guidance, their counselors, that I was able to get my benefits. Okay. It, have you received any other uh, veterans benefits? Well, uh, medical. Uh, over the years, uh, over the decades now, I've gotten all my medical free through uh, the VA, the Veterans Administration Hospitals, throughout the United States, I might add, too. Okay, very good. Um, what advice do you have to veterans about applying for VA benefits? Well, uh, the best thing is to go to a, uh, uh, a I would say, a VA headquarters and uh, talk, get a counselor who will help you, walk you through these uh, programs and tell you what you're eligible for and uh, I'll help you apply for them. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, a lot of uh, veterans uh, think it's hard to do, and they don't. Uh, so they don't want to apply for veterans benefits. Well, if you try to do it on your own, it is difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult. Like everything else that has to do with big government, there's uh, uh, an awful lot of. Uh, uh, what, what do we call it? Um, uh, a lot of paperwork. I'm, I can't think of the term I want to use right now. But uh, a and lot you're, of you're being nice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's true. Well, we're being interviewed, so we got low battery here. Uh, okay. Well, I just uh, want to want to thank you for your your time and uh, oh. thank you for your. Uh, your time in the service and serving our country. Well, you know, uh, I feel almost guilty when people, when I wear my cap out in public and people uh, thank me for my service and all like that, because I feel I got more out of them than they got out of me. In the three years, nine months, and 11 days I spent in the service, I think I've gotten way more out of the government than the government got out of me. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Okay. Anytime.